Hi everyone, it is Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with our Sewing Bee update. So every week we are bringing you a video where we pair patterns to patterns that we think we saw on the show so that you guys don't have to spend hours researching. You can just watch this, get your patterns and start making. So what I will say is that if you haven't seen the show, go and watch it because this is going to be full of spoilers. So um, right, I'm going to get cracking. So I really, I don't know about you guys, but I love this week. 70s is something that's quite close to my heart. I loved all the shapes and the challenges are really good this week. Um, I did think the first challenge of making jeans in three and a half hours was pretty harsh. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely, definitely could not have done that. Um, so let's talk jeans while we're on that subject. So the first challenge was making jeans. They were making flared jeans, classic 70s shape. I've got three pairs of jeans, which I think would work really well if you're looking for that similar sort of shape. So the first one I've got is the Dawn jeans from Megan Nielsen. These come in sizes two to 20 and they are available on the online shop. So um, the cover image of this pattern is for a pair of like classic mum jeans, but there is a variation which is kind of quite 70s. It's got a very loose leg. It's a kind of quite a wide flare. It flares from sort of the thigh rather than below the knee, which is kind of a classic flare. Um, a little bit more modern. Um, these have been, they're, they're relatively new, These these um, this pattern, and I think it's a really, really lovely one. A lot of people have made it and said how great the fit is on this. So um, I think this would be a really, really nice option. My next one I've got is the Ash Jeans, again from Megan Nielsen, and this comes in sizes six to 18. Um, this is available on the online shop. Um, <clears throat> Again, the cover image is for a pair of skinny jeans, um, but it does come with your much more classic um, flare from the knee. So I thought if I included these two options, it would kind of work quite well in terms of, you know, what you're looking for. So yeah, this is a proper classic pair. Um, it's quite fitted and through the thigh and then flares out from just under the knee. Um, Again, I've heard fantastic things about the fit of these, so I definitely think if you're looking for a pair of jeans, these definitely one to think about. Um, I think you would want something with stretch, but that getting into talking denim stretch is another whole, <laughs> another whole video, so I won't go into that. Um, I've got one more option for you for um, for jeans. Um, the cult classic within the indie sew world, the ginger jeans. I picked the mid-rise option. Um, these again come with a picture of a skinny jean, but there is an expansion pack for these to make them, which is free, to make them into flares. Um, if you haven't made jeans before and you're thinking you're, you're kind of thinking about it, um, this is a really good place to start. She also does a really fantastic online course so you can make everything step by step. Sizes, it comes in sizes 6 to 24 and this is available, oh it's not available on the online shop, so um, it's a really nice pattern. There's there's kind of two options, so you could go for a classic skinny jeans, classic pair of skinny jeans which we do have on the online shop which I might link to actually because that might be more helpful that you can actually get your mitts on them. So that was the first challenge. Second challenge, the upcycle challenge, which I always really love because basically it's pretty crazy. Um, sorry guys, I've got a cup of tea. Mm. It's always the kind of crazy one that you're like, oh my goodness, how do they make that? So this week was punk. They were allowed to pick three items of clothing. There were, there was tartan shirts to pick from. I mean, loads of different things that they could use. And they were very, very crazily creative. Um, I've got, I just picked, three patterns I, I, honestly this this one was particularly hard because so many safety pins and other stuff going on but I thought these three would work quite well if you were looking for something fun so we have got the new look 6313 this is a very simple little shape actually and really easy to make obviously I was drawn by the tartan on the image so I thought that was quite good but it's just a little flared skirt basically with a waistband this would be a really, really fantastic project if you haven't sewn very much before. This is a really good beginner sort of skirt. Um, 
I thought this would be quite a good basis considering comparing what everyone had made. I thought this would be a nice sort of a nice like easy ish 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 one. Um, the next one I have chosen is the Grace Top from Named Clothing. This is this comes in sizes 4 to 22 and it's available on the online shop. I picked this one because this is actually a classic corseted top and I think it was, was it Jen who did, she did a corseted top? I think it was. Forgive me if I am wrong. So I thought this would work quite well if you wanted to make something with a corset. Um, I picked this one because it's a little bit, it's a bit more modern. Um, I think that actually the shape of this top is really beautiful. Um, it's got classic princess seams, which you could put boning in, I think. Well, it's up to you. And yeah, I thought this one would work quite well. The next one I've got to talk to you about is, oh, the, the fern shorts from Afternoon Patterns. These come in sizes 6 to 16. Um, they're, this is available on the online shop. Um, I picked these shorts because, again, there were the trouser options were quite weird and wonderful but there were a couple of pairs of shorts which I thought might work or these might work quite well they're quite loose fitting um, they have a classic fly on them um, let me just find the line drawing for these ones of which oh there we go yes yeah, so they've got a classic fly they've got little darts at the front and the back which is great for shaping pockets who doesn't love a pocket and this quite dramatic tie around the front so if you wanted to do that sort of punk look you could definitely have like one leg in one color and one leg in another color or have the tie in another different print to the main body of the shorts there's lots of different things that you could do kind of to customize this um, to make it a bit more punky right so now we get to talk about the bit that i'm most excited about which was the 70s dresses um these proved quite hard, I will say, this week. Um, I definitely think a couple of them either used really old vintage patterns or drafted themselves. So I did struggle with a couple of them, but I think I've got some really good, good solid ones. So let me just pull up what I need. Um, okay, so the first one I'm going to start with, oh, yes, this one. So this is, I think it was Jen's, um, she made a long 70s dress, um, classic sort of banding underneath the bust, um, flared sleeves, um, a little bit of gathering up here, um, who else had an, um, Ricardo's was also quite similar in that vein, um, it had like kind of flared sleeves, tiered skirt which would be quite easy to make. But um, I found the, I mean, let's be honest guys, I think, I've, I think I've nailed this one. So the Alex dress from By Hand London, this comes in sizes 6 to 20 and this is available on the online shop. So we just started, we're just adding them up now, but we will have By Hand London patterns for sale on the shop, which is very exciting because I'm a huge fan of their dresses. So the Alex dress, I mean, this is almost bang on, I have to say. I think this, I think she might have used this pattern. Um, it's such a beautiful make. Rachel's actually made the dress. It's lovely. So the pattern features, it's quite simple. It's got this curved band underneath the bust. Um, it's got gathering um, just underneath, kind of just underneath that panel underneath your bust so that you get shaping across, across the boob. It's got raglan sleeves and then it's got this beautiful bell shape um, kind of cuff, like bell shaped bottom and sleeve. And then you can make it in lots of different lengths. So if you want to go full 70s, obviously you'd make it in a beautiful long kind of, and like with an amazing big graphic print, it'd be amazing. But you can also make this in a shorter option. And I think this is really nice. I know a lot of people don't like showing their arms and this is a really fantastic option if you don't, if you don't like showing off your arms. Um, I think this dress really would be the perfect basis for most of these patterns. I think you could probably use this and twizzle it around. The kind of next couple of patterns I'm going to feature I think you could definitely use a mixture of these to make kind of your perfect 70s dress. So the next one I'm going to talk to you about is Leah's dress. So I've got two patterns for this because I was sort of 
deciding between the two and I thought actually I'll just pop them both in because they're abs both of them are basically absolutely beautiful. So the first one we've got is the Magnolia dress from Deer and Doe. Um, this comes in sizes 6 to 18 and is available on the online shop. I mean, hubba hubba, but this dress is just, I freaking love this dress. Um, so it's got a, um, it's got a kind of deep V at the front that slightly wraps over. It's almost like a fake wrap dress. It's got big ties at the back. Um, two sleeve options, so you can either go for this slightly bell-shaped sleeve, it's less dramatic than the um, By Hand London one, um, or you can go for a short sort of flutter sleeve, but if you're wanting that 70s look then obviously the, the, kind, of, the, the kind of picture that I'm showing you is probably that sleeve option is the better to go for. Um, it's got princess seams as well, which is great over the bust in terms of fit, that's going to really help you get a really lovely fit across there. The, this is a French pattern company if you haven't come across them before and this is one of my favourite of their patterns ever. I think it's absolutely beautiful, I'm sure you'll all agree. Um, the other pattern I had um, is the, which I think it could be this one, it's very, I think it might be this one for Leah's actually, now I'm looking at it again. Um, it's the Simplicity 8013. This is... Um, one of their, they do this quite often, they have vintage patterns that they bring back and reprint and this is one of those. Um, it's really, I mean, it's it's just, the picture of it is just draw dropping, isn't it? It's so beautiful. Oh, I just love it in that kind of tealy satin. It's so beautiful. Um, so this is a proper wrap, so it's not a fake wrap, proper wrap, big blue zonny tie at the side. Again, big blue zonny sleeves. I mean, you definitely want something if you're making this with a lot of drape. Um, I haven't told you the size guide, have I? It comes in sizes 6 to 22, and it is not available on the online shop. Um, it is also, at the moment, and I say this with trepidation because it might not be, but it's also half price at the moment today. So um, if, you, if you want it, now's the time to go and get it from So Direct. Um, I just think... Oh, I just love this. I thought this was a really, really good close option. Right, so the next one I'm going to talk to you about is Juliet's kind of cold shoulder flouncy, as it was called in the Sobe, um, maxi dress. Um, I'm not going to lie, this is, um, well, this is the pattern that she used. I saw a sneak shot of the cover of the pattern. I was pretty sure it was this one and that just secured it for me. So this is the McCall's um, 7745. This comes in sizes, let me just have a look for you, 6 to 22. Um, I mean, this is that beautiful dress. Um, it's a wrap dress as well. It's got um, this lovely kind of flounce that goes for all the way across from, actually I've got a little flounce today, but it goes all the way across from your shoulder. Um, very thin little spaghetti straps and then you've got this sort of lovely long dramatic wrap. Because it's McCall's it comes with lots of different variations as well so if you didn't want to make the maxi dress there's a shorter version and there's different sleeve options but yeah this this was the one which I thought and I thought it looked absolutely beautiful I really this is one of my favourites from the show. Um, yeah I thought she absolutely nailed it. So the last pattern I'm going to talk to you about is from Mercedes. This was like my nemesis's pattern because it's a vintage pattern, which means I knew that I wouldn't be able to find the exact one. But that seam line, there's a kind of, it's quite loose fitting. Um, it has a seam across here and, and gathered a gathered waist with elastic and very loose fitting top. And I was like, I'm going to find this pattern if it kills me. And I have found something quite close, which I think would work well. Um, so it's the McCall's 7742, um, it's, def it's got that sort of, it's got the seam which is very similar to Mercedes vintage pattern. The only difference is that it doesn't have the elasticated waist which you could totally add on, just pop a piece of elastic on the inside and it'll suck it in to make it similar to hers. Um, and lengthen it a little bit and you're pretty much there. So in terms of the line drawing, if you look at it, it was very, it's pretty close to what Mercedes had. Um, you might need to alter the neckline a little bit, but you know, pretty much there. 
Right, so I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that was useful. Um, I will be back next week. I'll see you next week for the next instalment of The Sewing Bee. Bye.